How's it going guys? Today we're back again with the 135i and today we're gonna be repairing this ugly looking screen. The camera can pick this up, but this camera, I mean this uh, screen is completely uh, destroyed by the sun. All the clear coat is off. It doesn't look so bad when you put the screen on, but as you can see right now, it looks super bad. That's how it looks. Holy Jesus! What is that? What the fuck is that? First thing is first, we need to get to the bolts that hold this down, which are behind this vent. There we go. Okay, cool. Just be careful because this is metal. Uh, like I said, I prefer you use a plastic. There we go. So there's going to be one little connector right here, which you kind of press down on and pull. All right, so now you get yourself a T20, which is right here. And then you go for these two bolts. One bolt here and one bolt right here. Don't worry about the center one. Don't worry about that. Just the two on the top and take those out. I took out the two screws. Now what we can do is pop this up like this. There you go, it's out. All right, so now you just remove this cover that's on top, tab down and it comes out. Same thing with this one, push the two tabs on the side. All right, like I said, push the two tabs on the side, this one and the other one comes right out. Now the whole unit is out and we can fix or replace. All right, so here is our new screen right here. As you can see, it's brand new. Um, yeah, it's brand new, came from China. Now to take this one off, all I can really see, to be honest, is Phillips screws. Although I don't really know which one to take out, we're about to see. So I'm gonna basically try to take it apart from the plastic first and then go from there. So let's take it off the plastic. All right, so here's the, here it is out of the plastic case. As we can see, it's pretty bad. So you can see this little tab right here. It's not letting the thing out. It is kind of uh, twisted, which is on purpose. So you want to untwist it. All right, I got some pliers. You can then twist this so it lines up and there we go board is out so we're there as you can see it's out it says alpine this is the brain of it so this is the important part be careful with this the screen doesn't work anymore so we are done with this there are some part numbers right here as you can see it ends in a02 all right uh i just realized that for the old one as you can see this is kind of taped down which i'm not sure why the chinese one is not but you want to make sure to put that down first and basically squish it with the new one All right, and make sure to turn this tab right here to hold it down like how it was before. So I just give it a slight twist, like so. And that's pretty much it. Once it's in, you just lock it down. And you repeat the same thing for this one and this one. All right, so I just put the metal case back on, put the four screws on, and now it's ready to go back into the case. Pretty easy. And that is it. It is now all tight. All screws are tight. The ones on the plastic. All right, I just slid it in there. Pretty easy. Put the two bolts back on or screws, whatever you want to call them. And then here's the old one. And there is the new one. It is a bit dusty, but for the most part, it does look good here it is black it does have a few fingerprints i gotta clean off but for the most part it is black now so i like it all right so it does have a bit of a blue tint to it uh only weird thing i am kind of noticing right now is if i go to control display 
it's at the lowest right now. If I go higher, I don't think it's actually getting any brighter. So I'm not sure if you can't adjust this one. But from what I can see, it's not really moving too much.